What is up guys, it's Sobash, welcome back. We are back with some more Mobile Legends and we are going to do another beginner's guide on Mobile Legends. And this is basically gonna be your basic tutorial on gameplay and what you have available to you. Now before you do start, remember always, like I said in the last video, you can change your spell if you would like. So whichever one you would wanna go with, you can choose your equipment schemes as well. You can choose those. And of course you can choose your emblem set. All right, so when you first start out, you're gonna have two spells available to you and two items. So whichever item you wanna go with be to begin with, you're able to purchase that and you have two spells. Now, depending on the player that you are playing, you may want to take a different spell depending on that player. Now, as you advance into the game, you're going to notice there's three different lanes. You have one in the middle, one on the bottom down here, and you have one on the top up there. Now, if you notice, you have a map right in the very top left hand corner of your screen. This map is going to show you all of your allies on your map at all times, unless they are dead. Now, also, you are going to be able to see enemy allies if they are close to one of your guys. Now, that is a nice thing to see because if you just look about every three to five seconds at your map, that is going to give you a huge advantage at knowing where your enemy opponents are at. Now, right beside your map, you're going to have a little thing that's going to tell you what your MS rating is, or basically how good your connection to the server is. And right below that, you have a cog that takes you into the system settings where you can change your graphics, your controls, and we'll get into some more advanced controls later in another video. Now, right below the map is a little exclamation mark. Now, if you press that exclamation mark without moving the joystick, you can ping a certain area on the map that notifies your teammates that there needs to be some attention to that area of the map. All right, now let's draw your attention to the right side of the screen to where you can see these other little emblems, uh, the attack, the runaway looking thing, and the arrows. What these are, are these are pings as well. So that would tell enemies to attack your current location. So it's a basically a quick thing to use if you're in a situation to where you need help and you can't really let go of the controls to press that to notify them, hey, I need help here. All right, also above that, you're going to have a dollar sign with a number always counting. That is your gold that you're collecting throughout the map. If you press that gold up at the very top, this will take you to the shop. You do not have to be at the fountain to be in the shop. You can purchase anything at any point in time as long as you have the gold. If you select the item that you want to buy and you do not have enough gold, you can hit the recommended button and it will let you buy this item in the next rotation once you start getting enough gold. It's a real handy thing to have if you're trying to change up your build in the middle of a match. All right, now also at the top, we are going to have the score you see six to four currently and the timer in the middle. If you press on that, you can bring up a tab that shows you every character in this game right now that is playing what spell they are using. Of course, all of these are our computers currently just for this testing. And you can see what items they are building into. This can give you a heavy advantage if you pay attention to this throughout the match to know what your opponents are building for. Now, right beside that, you have your other members of your team at the very top. You can see their health and you can also see a little diamond. Now you notice there's only one diamond currently up. Now there's two. That means Akai's ultimate has just been available to use that lets you know your allies can actually use their ultimate and it is available to them you can also see when your opponents are dead and when they revive and are ready to be back in battle all right now in the side tab as well you see a little arrow right there you can press it it will give you all your statistics and it will give you a description of every ability that this character has even the passives that way if you have any questions about it you can always open that menu and read it if needed all right, now looking down at the abilities, of course, you have your very first skill, which is your A ability right here. And then your second ability is going to be that one right there. We're gonna call that the B ability. And the ultimate, of course, is the third one right there that we just used. And different heroes are going to acquire different rotations for these, so be aware of that. Do some research or check out what is the best build or rotation for that hero. And lastly, your items at the very middle of the bottom of the screen, you have recall, which will send you back to your base. If you hit it, it takes about 
five to six seconds for it to completely cast. If you are hit while you are recalling, you will be interrupted. Right next to recall, you have regen. Every character takes regen into battle with them. Once you take regen into the battle, you have a cooldown, which is a base of 60 seconds to begin with. Cooldown reduction items do affect this regen spell. Now, right next to the regen spell, you have your spell that you take into the game that you have selected. Depending on what level you are, you will have more spells available to you. As you level up, some of these spells can get stronger and you can utilize them in more fashions. All right, guys, that's going to be it. This is the basic tutorial for everything on the main screen that you can see here when you first start out in a match. I hope this explains some things to some of you guys. If you uh, did not understand or know what any of this means, if you have any other questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I will do my best to try and answer them. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. I am Soulbash. You guys have a nice day.